There are roosters and hens. There are goats, a Shetland pony, exotic birds, and many, many sheep. These are some of the animals the town of Summerford wants removed from a residential area. People are upset. I've had animals throughout all my life since I've had, had this property. And like we've been keeping animals ever since. And dad had animals and grandfather had animals. Read on through since the first settlers here in Summerford. Frank Brown is the owner of Larissa's Hatchery. He keeps about 120 animals in a secluded, fenced-in area behind his house. They provide a large part of his livelihood through the sale of chicks, lambs, mutton, and goats, to name a few. You drive up and down the street, you can't even see it. You can't can't smell it. You might hear it scattered time, but if you if what's the difference in a sheep barn or a donkey barn and your neighbor's dog barn. In April, Summerford Town Council ordered Brown and two others to remove their animals and the structures used by the livestock. It's being appealed. Neither council members or staff would do an interview on the subject when asked by the CBC, saying they've received legal recommendations not to speak until the appeal process is complete. Town referenced council minutes for details of the orders, which were supported unanimously. Since that time, three members of council have resigned. We're here to stay. We're town residents and we want change. Frustration with town affairs is growing. Residents have been holding regular protests outside town hall. I think everybody should be able to have a right to have what they want on their own land, especially if they're going to do it right. If they're going to pen up their animals and take care of them properly, I think you should be allowed to, you know, provide for your family. My animals are here to stay. If he wants my animals taken out of this, if he wants to come out and shoot me or whatever he got to do, the only way they're going to take them is to get to drag them out over my dead body. Residents opposing this order of council say they're interested to see how the appeal process goes. However, they have no intentions of backing down and say they'll dig their heels in until this issue is resolved. Troy Turner, CBC News, Summerford.